Hi, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is well. And if you are watching it as it just goes up, happy Christmas Eve. <laughs> so, too good to go. I haven't done one for ages. I've not had the time. Thinking, mmm, Christmas, uh, Christmas Day, Waitrose, too good to go bag. What could be better? As you know, if you watch my videos frequently, I love a too good to go bag from Waitrose. And we usually get some really, really decent things. Also today, I've got a flower bag. Now, they're a little bit controversial because they definitely aren't food ways. I definitely haven't tried to eat any of the flowers that I've got. But I thought, well, seeing as it's Christmas, let's get some nice flowers as well. So the flower bag was £6.70 and the Waitrose bag was a fiver. I want to share with you, I want to share with you what I've got. I want you to let me know, is it a Christmassy bag or is it not a Christmassy bag? Is it like this or is it like this? <laughs> I'm excited. Let me show you the flowers first though. So we've just got one bunch. Now, whilst I was disappointed because usually you get two or three bunches or previously, should I say, previously, should I say, I've been given two or three bunches at a time, but we just got one bunch. However, it is still decent value for money because I was looking in Morrison's the other day and you didn't you got a bunch of flowers probably half the size or half the quality maybe uh, for more than six pounds seven so whilst oh that'll make a right nice thumbnail won't it <laughs> see if I use that one so whilst I would have liked another bunch I'm not I'm not gonna lie about it I'd have been ecstatic with two bunches these are still beautiful flowers and they are very festive, aren't they? So, yeah. I think they're going to last ages as well, as well. I think the other ones that I've had have lasted a couple of weeks. Right, let's move on to the grocery bag. Is there going to be some really nice Christmassy things? Last year, did a uh, Waitrose bag. We got some, what we had, a big tub of brandy cream that was something like £6, I think, on its own. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's see if there's any festive treats. So first up, we have some milk. Milk it always comes in handy, doesn't it, milk? Even though it's out of date today, what could we do with this milk? We could make, that's right, if you're a regular, you know what I'm going to say. We could make a rice pudding. That's right, we could make a rice pudding. Or we could freeze it. It's full fat. I like full fat milk. I've always been one for buying semi-skin, but recently we've swapped over to blue top. What have we got? half a loaf of bread. Jackson's, it's a nice brand, Jackson's of Yorkshire. I think it's a half loaf. I don't know why people would pay. I mean, this is supposed to be one pound. Was one pound eighty. It's supposed to be one pound eighty. I don't know who would pay one pound eighty for such a small loaf of bread. Why not buy the bigger one and just split it up, put it in the freezer? Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Two packs of salt and vinegar crisps that are out of date next week. Okay, what else have we got? A packet of Haribo's that are out of date 2025. What are they doing in there? Uh, let's have a look, see what else there is. Gourmet passion fruit yogurt. Again, it's out of date today. I mean, yogurt lasts two or three days. I always think past it. Uh, I know it's supposed to be a use by date, but I find that yogurt is generally lasts really well. Um, passion fruit, double fruit layer, thick and creamy British live yogurt. What else have we got? Spiced lamb pastries now. Oh, you can freeze them, you can freeze them. I think I'll freeze them for a party that we're having New Year because nobody really likes lamb in this house. Although, I think my older son does. And then we have one thing left, which is spinach falafels. I've still got a box um, from the last bag that I got with Waitrose. And that's it. That's what we got. We've got kids arguing. Do you know when everybody gets so hyped up for Christmas and then you get more and more arguments as it gets closer to Christmas? Is this happening in your house or did it if you've got older kids now they don't live with you? Well, your kids like it. 
Um, they seem to be arguing really late at night. I'll be glad when Boxing Day's come and then everything will be back to normal again. Yeah, so tell me what do you think? Weren't a very Christmassy bag though. Maybe I was naive in expecting a little bit of Christmas cheer. It's probably the worst bag that I've ever had from Waitrose. So if you think it's a good one, you should check out my other Waitrose bags because most of those have been absolutely excellent. This, I don't think it's very good. Let me know what you think though. Your opinion is probably far more important than mine. Right, I'm gonna go. It's been a nice, short, sweet video. If you celebrate Christmas, have a lovely Christmas and I will catch you again soon. Bye.